This is the Alpe d'Huez, a famous ski resort and an iconic stage finish of the Tour de France. High in the mountains, facing the Alpe d'Huez Pass, Chantal Tessé grows black currant plants. On peut voir là, à cette époque de l'année, les grappes qui commencent à se développer de fruits qui au mois d'août vont donner un fruit très généreux que l'on va cueillir pour faire des confitures, des sirops, de l'apéritif. Mmh. Chantal's blackcurrant jam is so fruity, tasty and not too sweet. It is the full season for wild wood garlic, a trendy herb that Chantal collects from a local forest. Avec l'ail des ours, je fais un condiment. On le prépare donc avec la feuille, simplement, que l'on lave, que l'on broie, et que l'on met dans du sel pendant 24 heures et dans l'huile d'olive après. Mm. This is really delicious, strong herb flavors with a little bit of garlic, great on toast, but also with potatoes and with pasta. It's a little bit like an exotic pesto. Down in the Bourdoisan village, the excellent local baker makes one of my favorite alpine tarts. Mm. La tarte de Loison, a sweet pastry with a compote of blueberries and on top a very light crème chibouze caramelized. So good. This blueberry mousse is an outstanding modern alpine dessert. In a pan, I first place the juice of one lemon with 100 grams of sugar and half a vanilla pod before adding 400 grams of blueberries to simmer for five minutes. Next, I press half of the blueberries through a fine strainer and whisk 10 grams of gelatin into the warm puree. The amazing color and flavor comes from the skin of the berries. I beat two egg whites with a pinch of cream of tartare into stiff peaks, then fold in 50 grams of sugar. I gently mix 100 milliliters of whipped cream into the cool blueberry puree and fold in the egg whites. Next, I carefully pipe a little of the mousse into six glasses and refrigerate for at least six hours to set. Just before serving, I top each mousse with the remaining blueberry compote. This very light mousse au myrtille is delicious served with macarons. My last stop in the region is at the Ferme Rochaille, where I meet Karine Gano, a farmer that makes excellent alpine small goods. With Melissa, her assistant, she makes a variety of pork sausage, like the famous Murson, that local cooks poach in a broth and serve with potatoes. They prepare a beautiful selection of pork terrines flavored with herbs, pistachios, and hazelnuts, and expertly cure a tasty range of salami and dry small goods. It is so pleasing to know that the great tradition of making Alpine charcuterie is not lost. And it is so delicious. Tomorrow, after three great weeks in provincial France, I will be in Paris to meet a great pâtissier.